Okay guys, welcome to your next Android tutorial and today we're going to do with menus. Now menus in Android are mostly how will I put this? Um, the menu system in Android is really useful because it can be extended in any really way you want. You can do whatever the devil you like with it and it works perfectly in my opinion. Um, now we're, we're designing our menu for the action bar but it also means on older Android devices which don't have the action bar ability when you press the menu button the menu will pop up automatically. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to have a look at this here. This was a this was created when we created our project. It's our callback for the main activity called public boolean on create options menu and it inflates a menu resource from main from or.menu.main activity menu which is under the menu folder. Don't forget or res.menu.main activity menu. This is, this is a special type of XML file for menus only. So here's our resources and here's our menu with one item. Now this is done in code but we can actually go up here we can actually you know, ins create new stuff. So this is menu elements and this is an item. So we're going to add a new item in the top menu. We're going to create. Okay. So now we've got our item. We're going to call this menu uh, menu item. Actually, we'll call this Twitter. Okay. Because when we get into logos and stuff, we want to keep it as Twitter. Okay. Order menu category. These are all the different properties you can do. We're going to manually modify them because I prefer doing it that way, and I just enjoy it in general. I'm going to do this in code. So the first thing we're going to need to have our ID. We're going to need a title Android title and this is what the text for the menu item is going to be so we're going to say Twitter okay next line Android ordering category now what the ordering category is is that if you look at the action bar for anything essentially the order category is which order the items will be in so number one is the first item, number two is the second, three, four, five, down along, and then to the overflow icon. Now you'll see this much better in the emulator. So we're, gonna, we're just going to have a look at the emulator. And I'll show you the menu. So we're going to bring up our, all our apps. I'm going to click main activity. Okay, this is actually containing an, a different version which has the items already in. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna we'll, we'll show you that those tricks. But if we click, let's say, email, the email app installed on this. Okay, that's not much good, is it? Um, but essentially, is if you notice on a lot of things, the action bar will have a list of things up the top. Alarms. Okay. Yeah, see here the tick, that's a menu item, that tick would be. Okay. So we're going to hit home and we're going to minimize out of this. Yes. Oh, bugger. What happened there? Okay. So the order and category is which item becomes first. Now the, the first item is the item at the top of the list and it goes down the way. So it's what you want at the top. And on the action bar, it goes across. So the item you want on the left is on the top. So we're going to put this as category one. Now, the next property is our Android show as action. Show as action. Now, what this means is essentially. It's kind of hard to describe, but if you're on the if you look at a normal app, okay, in Android, most of the time you've got a few action bar icons, and then in the very right-hand corner you have three dots, three squares, and if you tap them, a drop-down menu comes up. That's all the same menu actually in Android in the Android system when you're coding it. If if you want icons to appear, or if you want certain icons to always be on the action bar, this means show as action always on the action bar. If room means that uh, if it's on a tablet, you know it'll be on the action bar. But if it's on a phone, it won't. If it's only if there's room, it'll fit it. And never means always put it in or never put in the action bar. Always put it in the overflow menu, as it's called. With text, this is for 
icons, we'll do that later. So we're going to say this always, and we're going to create two more items. So we're going to copy and paste because that's how coders do things. And we're going to change the ID the next one to Facebook. And then we're going to create, we're going to say Facebook. Not Facebook, but, or Facebook, Facebook. And the last menu item we're going to create is going to be called Refresh. And then we're going to type that in down here. Okay. So now we've got three three menu items. So what we're going to do now is, oh, the ordering category hasn't been changed. So we make this one number two and this one number three. That means on the action bar, they're going to appear as, the, on the left, going from left to right, it's going to be Twitter, Facebook, Refresh. So we're going to hit Run. And we're going to see what happens. Now, fortunately, I'm getting an error. So I'm going to go sort that out, and we'll be back. Okay guys, so there's a slight problem with uh, file names, mostly, and a few other little glitches. So, we have our four items that are going to be in our menu. Now if we bring up our, our emulator, we're going to see we have our Twitter icon, our Facebook, our Refresh. You're probably wondering, where is that last icon? Well, if you're running an emulator that has hard-coded buttons, like our buttons like this, if we press menu, see where settings comes up at the bottom? That's the extra uh, menu item, that's our fourth menu item, so that's our overspill. Now, if this didn't have any physical buttons, we'd have the three little squares up here that you see on new phones and tablets that have soft buttons. But first thing I've noticed is we've got a little bit of a problem. This main activity here, our, our title is being blocked, which is, you know, I'll be honest, not very detailed looking, it's not very nice. So ideally, we need to move our menu somewhere else. Now, we could move them into the overflow. So, you know, we could just change these to if room and it should move them into the overflow. But there's a better option. In Android, you can do something called action bar splitting. Now, what this means is you've seen this, you might see this in the Gmail app on the phones, the new Gmail app, where you can actually put a second action bar across the bottom and then it will split the action bars as needed. So in order to, we have to add that property to our app, so we're going to go into our manifest and it's under the application property. We can put it under the activity as well if we only want to split the action bar on a single activity, but we're going to do this for the whole application. So we can type in Android and then UI options and it's split action bar when narrow save and then if we run this again we should be able to see our uh, act we'll see those three buttons down the bottom out of the way so once, once it installs we'll, we'll see that the emulator is very slow Ah, and here we go. And boom, look. Twitter, Facebook, and Refresh are now down the bottom. It's very easy. Press me. Oh, we got rid of that code, didn't we? That starts up our next activity. So, now what we need to do is we need to make those items clickable because no point having a menu if you can't click anything. So we need to add our, actually we'll do the clicking items in the next video.